in a previous video i upgraded to 21.5 inch mid 2011 imax from mac os 10.13.6 high sierra to mac os 13.6 ventura and today i'll be upgrading a similar imac from mac os 13.6 ventura to mac os 14.0 sonoma with the help of opencall legacy patcher which is designed for installing Mac OS on unsupported Macs. For a successful upgrade to Mac OS 14.0 Sonoma on an unsupported Mac PC, you first need to have the latest version of OpenCore Legacy Patcher app installed on your Mac PC. If you need some help with this, check in the video description for a video in which I demonstrated how this can be done. I have just successfully updated this iMac to the latest version of OpenCore Legacy Patcher. This iMac has a 2.5 GHz quad-core Intel Core i5 processor, 32GB of DDR3 RAM, and 1TB of SSD storage. It is running Mac OS Ventura 13.6 and it is very responsive as you can see from the apps that I am currently opening. First, I'll be upgrading to Mac OS Sonoma directly from Apple using the system updates. Select General, select Software Updates. Here you will find the available updates from Apple. Updating an unsupported Mac PC directly from here is not advisable, but I'll be trying it to see how it turns out. Click on Upgrade Now and agree to begin the download. The download lasted for 26 minutes. Once the download was completed, the iMac restarted and began the upgrade to Mac OS Sonoma. The upgrade lasted for 20 minutes. When the upgrade was completed, I got a prompt to install OpenCore Legacy Patcher root patches. Click on Restart to complete the installation. After upgrading to Mac OS Sonoma this way, I observed the following. Selecting a dynamic wallpaper displays only a white background. However, selecting picture backgrounds seemed to work just fine. Trying to browse with Safari browser was a pain, as I could not see any of the text I was typing in. Also, the general response speed of the PC seemed to have reduced as opening apps and the general movement of the mouse pointer was noticeably slower. Next, I proceeded to install Mac OS Sonoma 14.0 the recommended way. This requires an installation USB drive of size 16GB or more. I connected the USB drive to the PC and opened OpenCore Legacy Patcher app. I clicked on Create Mac OS Installer. I select Download Mac OS Installer, select Mac OS 14.0 Sonoma from the list of installers and click Download. The download lasted 8 minutes. I entered the system password when prompted and clicked on Yes to create the Mac OS Installer. I selected the installer and selected the USB drive from the list. Note that everything will be deleted from the USB drive. Click on yes to confirm the creation and enter the system password when prompted. The creation lasted for 72 minutes. You get this message when the USB installation media creation is completed. I clicked on yes. I selected install to DIX and selected the USB installation media to install OpenCore Legacy Patcher to the USB installation media. I select the volume and enter the system password to proceed. I click on reboot when done. I 
hold down the option key on my keyboard as the PC is restarting. I select EFI boot from the USB installation media. I select Dix utility. I select view menu and choose show all devices. I click on the PC's main drive and click on erase. I rename the drive and select the APFS format and choose the GUID partition map scheme. I click on erase. I choose install macOS Sonoma and click on continue. I select the PC's main drive and click on continue. The installation lasted for 42 minutes and the PC restarted 5 times in the process of the installation. When the installation was completed, I proceeded to set up the system by simply selecting only the necessary options and I was done with this step in no time. I went ahead to open the Open Call Legacy Patcher app and selected the Root Patching tab. I ticked the dark menu bar for a better looking interface and I am also prompted to install Open Call Legacy Patcher to the PC's main drive. So I proceeded to do so. I click on Install to Dix, select the volume and enter the system password. I reboot to complete the installation. The mouse pointer movements and the opening of apps on this OS is great, though not as fast as what I had experienced when using macOS 13.6 Ventura. The Safari browser is also working fine and I'm able to see the text I type in the browser window. Also, the dynamic wallpaper seems to be responding fine. However, I still observe the few challenges with using macOS 14.0 Sonoma. Firstly, the Bluetooth was not responding fine as it turns itself off and does not display any devices when on. Also, QuickTime Player freezes suddenly whenever I attempt to record the screen and I need to force a shutdown to get the PC working again. Funny enough, I did not experience this error when I attempted the same with the initial upgrade from Apple before applying a patch. Apart from these two challenges, everything else seems to work just fine. From my experience, macOS Sonoma can currently be installed and used on iMac 12.1 mid-2011 using the OpenCore Legacy Patcher. A direct install from Apple followed by patching with OpenCore Legacy Patcher takes less time to upgrade compared to upgrading using a fresh install. A fresh install of macOS using OpenCore Legacy Patcher provides a better user experience than installing directly from Apple before applying the patch. I hope you found this video helpful and insightful. Thank you for watching and I will see you again in my next video. Bye for now.